Welcome to the Fantasy Football Forge. I'm Steve, and today, right now today, we'll be looking at the wide receiver. And today we'll be looking at the tight end rankings. These are all up on every position, except for DST and kickers not doing probably this year, are up on the website www.theffforge.com, available for you to look at if you want to take a closer look, or check them out later this week. I will be making adjustments as needed throughout the week. I don't see a whole lot of movement. Maybe uh, this one or two here at tight end might make some movement there, but I think I'm going to stick to my guns for the most part here. And so I'll explain a little bit about um, some of these decisions that I've made and why players are sitting where they're at where I think I need to explain them. Starting off with the 1-2 spot, Travis Kelsey, Mark Andrews. No big surprise. I do think Mark Andrews will probably be ranked number one for a lot of teams, and that might have to do something with how good Arizona did against tight ends last season. And, of course, I guess I am not the only one who thinks Travis Kelsey will have uh, start to decline this season, not only because of age, but also because that is going to be a new-look offense that I don't think we'll have to... Um, We'll be able to spread the ball around a little bit more. But we're going into week one. This offense has only had so much time to gel. They're not there yet. We know that. So, Mr. Trusty, in what could be a high-scoring game, I'm going for. I think Travis Kelsey will have a good week. Now, Arizona might just say, we don't know what else to plan for, so let's just shut down Travis Kelsey. Maybe he has a terrible week. Also very much possible. Probably it's going to be one or the other. <laughs> no in-between for Kelsey this week. And then I have Mark Andrews in at number two. Really good matchup against the New York Jets. I will happily be trotting him out in my lineup. Put Dalton Schultz at number three. Michael Gallup's not there. Uh, might be just a trusty guy for them to dump the ball off against Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is not the best against tight ends last season. So I liked it. Um... Easily could be Darren Waller here. I'm just not as high up on Darren Waller as other people are this season with a healthy Renfro and a new favorite target in Adams. I, I think Darren Waller will be more of a... He might disappear some weeks. This probably is not going to be a week he'll disappear in, in, though. Smash between those two is TJ Hawkinson. Mostly that just came down to this being a better matchup. And I do expect Philly to probably uh, end the game with a pretty healthy lead. It may not be a healthy lead throughout the entirety of the thing, but either way, um, I think there should be a good amount of opportunities for TJ Hawkinson. And I could see him having a better and more consistent season than last season. And if he can do that, plus just even double his two touchdowns from last season to four, he will be um, a top few tight ends probably this year but we'll see a few extra weapons in that wide receiver core though should help open things up for him should be a good week for him i like it kyle pitts against new orleans this really just came down to uh how good new orleans is against tight ends and um that's about it and maybe because i don't know that new orleans will have much of a game plan outside of kyle pitts similar to like how arizona could not have much to work off for a game plan other than what they'll do with Travis Kelsey and how to stop that. Dallas Goddard, similar thing. I, I like all of these guys quite a bit, so I'm not going to explain that. Good tight end, should have a lot of opportunities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving on to Pat Fryermuth. I'm assuming I'm going to be higher on this one. This feels like the type of game. Uh, before I even saw this, I was like, hey, I like Pat this week. So, um, I didn't do any projections this week for the uh, any positions other than the quarterback, which we'll see in that video. Looks a lot different how I do my project rankings. <laughs> Pat Fryermuth feels like a game where uh, a 37-yard touchdown is already written in the books. Like it just feels like that kind of um, week is gonna be potentially there for Pat. And then uh, George Kittle against uh, Chicago, they're, uh, they're, a, they're not a bad defense. They're pretty good against the tight end. That could be just an ugly game. And I absolutely love the idea of Trey Lance in fantasy football. Absolutely. Um, I think that he will do good. 
There's a chance he doesn't. There's a chance he looks worse than Jalen Hurts at quarterback Jalen Hurts' rookie season. And regardless, there's also a chance that San Francisco just wants to run the ball down Chicago's throat in this game. Maybe all season that is the plan. So I, I don't know. There's enough questions about just the amount of uh, like targets that are going to come George Kittle's way throughout the season and for me throughout this game and Chicago's pretty good defense. So uh, just not expecting a top five type of week from Kittle. Zach Ertz is uh, coming injured into this week uh, against KC, but if he's playing, KC um, is, you know, average against, I guess, last season, whatever the case, um, could be a lot of opportunity in this game for Zach Ertz. Albert O against Seattle, um, I like him. I actually had to just move him down a little bit in my rankings because I'm thinking in order for him to um, do good this week, it's going to be on like six targets at the most, something like that. I'm expecting Denver to run a lot. So hoping and expecting Albert O to do good this week, but I'm it's, it's a risky pick. Then Dawson Knox uh, should have plenty of opportunities against the Rams, not... Uh, not a bad week to be playing him. Irv Smith, I'm, I'm thinking this could be a pretty good week to be playing him against Green Bay. Could see could be a really good game for him. Cole Komet, I would love to have higher. I'm pretty high up on uh, as the offseason has gotten closer here to the real season. Gotten a little more bullish on Cole Komet, but this is not the week. This is not the week. Um the only reason it might be San Fran does have uh, has lost some dudes on their defense there in the middle, so uh, maybe that totally changes how well they played against tight ends. But I think that's been a strong suit of that team for some time now under this coaching staff against tight ends. Gerald Everett for the Chargers. Uh, you should, if you've seen my stuff. You know how I feel about uh, the. Really, the Chargers tight end, it could be uh, Donald Parham Jr. again, too, instead of Gerald Everett. I don't know, but seems like a good week, too. Um, it could be a high-scoring game, so it could be another opportunity thing. Same here with Jacksonville against Washington. This could be – I wouldn't be shocked if Jacksonville wins this game, like 35 to 13 or 17 or something like that or you know it could be close high I just wouldn't be shocked if this is a pretty high scoring game one way or another whether it's lopsided or not and Evan Ingram could definitely get in on some of that Moelle Cox it's just a good matchup against Houston so I do like that and um, yeah David Njoku not really a great matchup against Carolina not feeling that game as being like a Jacksonville versus Washington game I think it's more of a slog fest so not my favorite week for Njoku but do like him more than this for the season long for Evan Jordan uh good matchup for him, I guess I don't know um I, you know I could be totally wrong on Brevin Jordan I wouldn't start him this week but I'm predicting this then Hunter Henry, um, you know, it's a fine matchup, whatever. Robert Tanyan might have a big week uh, against Minnesota. I'm just uh, a little concerned with his health. May not be there yet, so it might be on a limited snap count or just might be limited physically and be more of a distraction. I don't know. Logan Thomas, um, similar story there. Could definitely be a good week for Logan Thomas. So still not hating the guys up until about this point, and then, and then we're in the trash there. So there they are. You can look at these rankings once again up on the website. Yeah, that is the tight ends. We'll just keep it nice and quick, sweet. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to add. Those are my feelings. I love you. Those are also my feelings. By the way, other than the yellow background and the yellow shirt, I mean, wearing my Sunday best, ready for the freaking games here on Sunday. My Easter clothes.